what I'm going to talk about today is uh, basic control for an eddy current dyno with RPM feedback. And what we got here is we got our controller, handheld controller, we got our data mic recording the data, and we have the RPM signal from our dyno coming through a T cable here into both the data mic and the controller. And here we got our data mic screen with our trace recorder. You can see here's dyno RPM being held fairly constant at about 1500 RPM. And we go back over here. Here you can see 1550 RPM, that's the actual RPM. And right now we have our set point at 1700, a little bit different. But you can see here if I dial the desired set point down, we're bringing the dyno, the actual RPM, down also. And if I bring this back up, you can see the dyno RPM starts going up again. And here you can see on our trace recorder exactly what happened. So if we go back to our controller now, I'm going to take it back to about, let's say that RPM, and you can see here, this voltage coming out, if I dial the RPM down, you'll see that voltage go up. And that is because it's saying, I need to send voltage to be absorbed by the dyno to bring the actual RPM down and try and match the set point. I'm going to go back up to about this RPM. And now you're going to see how RPM feedback works. If we go back to our trace recorder screen, I'm going to bring that up a little bit more, and you see it's going to stabilize at a new RPM. And the idea behind RPM feedback is it tries to hold the RPM constant. It's not going to do a perfect job. I'm going to explain that in the next video. But for doing an axle or diesel ramp, this is actually a better setup for doing an axle or diesel type of ramp. Now, I'm going to apply some load on our little bench dyno here. I'm applying power, and you can see it does go up, but it doesn't go up nearly as much as if I was not applying did not have RPM feedback. And if we go back over here, you can see our actual RPM is 1900, but we still have the same set point, about 1550. And now you can see the control taking place. We're ramped up, and now the control is taking over. It's not exactly the RPM we want, but it's a lot better than no RPM feedback. The next movie, I'll talk more in detail about this.